been a while since I robbed a bank. I'm looking forward to this. Have you ever robbed a bank? Of course I have. And what about that one up near Canada with you and Bill a couple of years ago? You was the lookout. some imaginary gold. <laughs> he has a point there. Probably best we approach the bank from the back. Don't need nobody recognizing us. I agree. It's this way. We didn't need to get into this at all. Behind you. Okay. I reckon we should bail. Come on. Whoa, whoa. There's the bank. Just there. I uh, uh, see it. Yeah. This way. Rest here till dark. There's a my kind of bank robbery. It's time. Let's go. All right. Wake up, beautiful. What already? Yes, come on. going on that boy over there he's a guard for sure well i'll go deal with him silently please of course Clear. Good work, Arthur. Follow me. Grab that spool, Arthur. Unspool that wire to about 30 feet away. Sure. Thanks. This won't take long. Okay, I think we're 
We're all good. I'm ready when you are. Push the stick, Arthur. Let's move. Make it quick. Wall will be here. Uh, safe look damaged. I reckon we should be able to pry them open. Let's see what we got in here. Check those other bolts. Yes, hurry up. We ain't got all. <laughs> Yo, what it was pimping. I'm on it too. Let's go, gentlemen, quick. Coming. Let's go. Yo, yo, what's you up, bro? Right? Chat? No, no. I'm playing, playing by myself. Gonna send you an invite. Huh, who is that? <clears throat> oh, do you want art? Oh my god, I done came out to a peninsula. No, 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 no. Dang. Keep riding. Head for camp. Make sure there's no one tailing us. Yo, yo. Same old shit. <laughs> Yo, that's, I mean, but that's fun in itself. I did the, the legendary animals. It just took like a day and it just hunted all the animals down. Oh, work of art. You boys should bring me along more often. Maybe things go a little smoother. There's no... It's, I cheated. Yeah, I cheated, man. And you follow some YouTuber. Hey, come on. I 
wouldn't start celebrating just yet. But I, yeah, it, you, you already know, man. Them, 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 uh, them no life for gamers. But they got every, every little thing you want to know about this game. All you gotta do is YouTube. Gotta get this. There's an all white horse you can get. There's a, a golden horse you can get. Uh, all the legend, yeah, a, a golden. There's some dude you gotta go on like a fishing trip with him and a couple of hunting trips, and he has this golden stallion, you know, all gold, golden hair and everything. And something happens to him, and he and he dies, and he tells you you can have his horse. Then there's another. Nah, I ain't even do it yet. There's so much other stuff to do. I was thinking. Him, yo, him and his sister. Yo, you just you just came across it by yourself, yo. I seen I seen it on YouTube, but I can imagine like yo, if you just fell across it like yo, that is crazy. Here and thank you, boys. That was fun. Now don't forget to give the camp a share, Uncle. Oh, as if I would. As if. <laughs> now split up, both of you. Let's get moving. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Did you did you go back there? Yeah, you go. They went back. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's like all this little stuff like that. Oh wow. been to the uh to the logging site and um you seen the tree fall on the dude yeah there is this oh you give him a couple dollars and stuff Yo, I re yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm fuck with that too, dude. Too. He's like, man, we might have to finish the pro the, the project, man. We run out of funds, so it's either you can go out and get him some supplies. I just gave him hundred dollars, but yeah, that, that and it is getting bigger. That the one there's uh the building in uh in Valentine too. I think that's that's what's the first little town Valentine. They were building something. And you, you keep going back there and that and that little building getting bigger and bigger. It's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's... Yeah, they got all it's just all the, and everybody's like so what's the best thing about it? And there's not just like one best thing, it's all the little things. That make it so good, man. Dude, it's like it's just like um one of those other little random locations you you and you come up. It's it's a logging site, and there's guys out there, and they're they're loggers. They're cutting trees down, and you you talk to one of them. They got a wolf problem. And you go out there, and you kill, you kill a couple wolves, and come back. And I just was walking around the logging site, and you, and earlier, you know, you can hear like timber, and you look, and a tree really falls, and they really cut a tree down. And then I walk around some more, and you, you hear another tree like timber, and it lands on the dude, yo. <laughs> it lands on the, my man, yo, and it crushes his leg, and you got to help him get the tree off his leg. And the dude was like, uh. Well, I guess you got to go home. Uh, sorry, but I can't pay you for the whole day. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. Yo, like the tree fell on him, bro. And then I was almost thinking, like, I wonder if you were standing right there when it happened, would it crush you?
Yeah, the random encounters. Yeah. There's always some lady getting towed away on a horse or... Mm-hmm. Or the, um... I ran across two, uh... Two inmates, yo, who... Two guys escaped from the chain gang. It's a black dude and a white dude, and they and they names black and white. <laughs> and there's... Oh, yeah, that one... There's a guy... You come across him twice, he was like, yo, you got locked up again. He was like, what, my fault? <laughs> I was like, dude, I already saved you with that. Yeah, you say you, you get the one guy loose out of shackles, but you run across him again with shackles on. And yo, and, they, and, yo, and, and Arthur grills him. He's like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> you got like, you know, it wasn't my, my fault. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're like, this is the last time, man. And then I say, this, you got the white dude, his name is black. You got the black dude, his name is white. And they, and they, they run, they escape the chain game together and they arguing like they girlfriend and boyfriend. Oh man, fuck you, black. This whole, you the whole reason we in this. Well, yo, you went white. You don't remember. And they can't, yo, yo, I ain't going to tell you the rest of their story, but yo, when you run into uh, Mr. Black and Mr. White, yo, that's funny as hell. <laughs> yo, I swear. Yo, let me go grab a drink real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Let me see. I'm about to do another mission for Dutch. Chapter two. Oh boy. got to get back out there i want to find me an elk too a perfect elk you get them um if you look at the uh the chaps man they got these sweet ass they, they like they're like a yellowish tan color chaps but you got to have a perfect elk pelt to make them motherfuckers but i want this shit bad as hell i'll be running across them i ain't seen no three-star elk yet though so arthur you get the deciding vote about what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? 
or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't you gotta, mean shit to me. You gotta this get him in the head. Fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank mm -hmm. he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stump in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, no, I, we are gonna I, ain't, I ain't really checked to see it again yet, but I was, I, the last thing I heard was it's gonna be sometime at the end of this month. They said, they said, yeah, they said the end of November. So, I mean, is that the, is that the 18th or the the 25th or what? You know, I don't. Know. I'm not even sure exactly. I mean, what what? Modes are they gonna have in PvP? Is it gonna be like Grand Theft Auto Heist where we go on bank robbery and mission like that together and, and make our own characters? Or <laughs> um, yeah, I play Red Dead Redemption. I didn't play Red Dead Revolver, but I played Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Um, I can remember it was just like a PvP. You were kind of on horseback riding around shooting each other. That's the only mode I played at. I don't know if they put the poker online again. I just sat here and played poker for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Dominoes, yeah. Just game, game after game. Farmers. But we need seed capital. And we need to lead. You know it. I know it. Oh, yeah. Not really. This is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, mm -hmm. business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you add up. Yeah, you don't like um, like I said, like building houses throughout the match. But yeah, you don't do. They don't get no points to the end of the game. Hey. And usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. <laughs> Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Um, and just being on horseback, man, it'll take a minute to unlock this whole map. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back no. of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Yeah. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, <laughs> is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station. Both. Neither. What does it matter? Oh, damn. We need to hit that bank. 
And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget... I ain't even see it easy yet. Not the, not the, um, what you gotta do? Examine or something like that? We just got a lot of study it, yeah. I ain't, I ain't even study it either yet. I just you found some, uh, some ducks, yo. A painted duck and a, and a mallard. And what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. <laughs> is it? Have some goddamn oh, damn. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Triscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. He's down in the swamp for the gate, is it? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Are we just meditating? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? Mm. I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I, I, I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything. Is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater, Valentine, Rhodes, Sean, Kieran. I promise none of it will be in vain. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Mm. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. The, uh, Thomas, you met Arthur. Arthur. The Thomas next one up from the normal one. Gonna help us get close to our prey. The deluxe edition. The other night we had quite the adventure mm -hmm. fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, got some extra clothes and a horse to start with. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. Uh, dang, I ain't take that part out. Social. <laughs> we were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Mm. Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Damn. He lied. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Excellent. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a... Yeah, you get ex a yeah, extra mission. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This mm -hmm. way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Yeah, the first thing I noticed is like with the package I got, it came with like a special holster and some spurs. 
a couple other little uh clothes you could, you know, I ain't had to buy. And yeah, it came with outfits. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. We'll start. Hmm? Check the traps with How much money? I got like uh I'm carrying up carrying around like three grand, three present grand. I done bought everything for the camp. Camp already for the upgrade and all that stuff. This one's empty. Alright. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't wanna know what just well, somebody said there's a time travel on here too, you know. You right to I think I already met him. Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Yeah, he, he comes, you meet him up in the mountains and he's like, he's using a lot of slang. Like, hey man, don't be talking all that jazz because I'm hip with it. And Arthur's like, what? You're what? You're talking about what? He's like, nah, man, you sound like you've been uh, smooching on the hooch or something. And so he's using all these, like, like uh, early 20s or something like slang and stuff and Arthur can't understand nothing he's saying <laughs> but he tells Arthur he wants you to take pictures of something and bring it back to him oh my god he gave it right there just stay as still as you can We do got me walking out All in the marsh. Right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. There's something wrong with my camera too, bro. I gotta um, I gotta wear my headphones for you to hear me. Like I can't talk through my camera anymore. Not the one downstairs. I'm down. Hey, hmm. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. That's the one I want. I'm, yeah. I done had three pair of golds. The quality of them are nice. They just, the sound quality is good. They're just cheap as shit. They flimsy and they break so easy. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, damn. I think I'm about to do the, uh, what you call it, you know? Let's open the, um, you first, Dutch. the legendary gator mission. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. Yeah, I already went fishing. Let's go. Yeah, some of these legendary animals you can't even hunt them without it. they're part of uh, missions themselves. And so there's I'm doing this mission right now. This dude has me in a in the swamp looking for his uh some kind of crawfish traps or something. But he thinks something is out here eating his traps. Man, he but he. God, there's no shortage of them. He got me out here hunting this gator. I think it might be this legendary alligator mission. Come on. Might be might be crabs. I thought you think I thought you said crabs or crawfish. I don't know. Some kind of traps he got out here in Yeah, you know. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Oh my god. You <laughs> motherfucker got me waist deep in swamp water with a lantern at night. <laughs> 
if I if my arm get tired, now my light gonna go up. Wilder, the heavy heavyweight, yeah. I haven't seen a, a one of his fights, but I watched some of his highlights, and they say, dude, man, yo, no. his highlights are a beast, man. Jeez, bro. I'm gonna have to watch that highlight then of him and Ortiz. Hello. Hmm. Here, help. Hey, you in the tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. Now where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I fell. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... Where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Mm. It's a setup. Yeah. I got the scale. It's over here. It's stuck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new <laughs> friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. <laughs> Oh boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster. I'm trying to get back. They got our... They're they talking right now. Gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the mm -hmm. yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's about to be on now. Come on, put your back into it. Jules? Oh, shit. He won't kid. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. I will? Quick. Hurry, Arthur. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Never. 
right around um, St. Dennis. Somebody from this gator. Hurry up, Arthur! Just don't look behind you! Oh, God, no! Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care! I got you covered! Oh, God, no! Please hurry! Hang in there, Joel! Ugh. Quick as you can! Come on! Hurry! Hurry! Give me the boy! Come here. Come, here. Uh, come on. Come on quickly. Quickly. Oh, mm. Hurt pretty bad. Uh, he should be okay. Uh, get in. He's coming right for us. Finish that son of a bitch, Arthur. You're going to be all right. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, bro. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleed. <laughs> gonna be okay, son. Gonna be okay. Just thank <laughs> your old Uncle Dutch. And there's blood all skin. Yo, you got eight by the damn crackers out. Oh, my God, yo. I'm on a boat. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleed. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn. Put every bullet you got it. Now. Get ahead of us. You see him? Shoot. Yeah, I am shooting that down, bro. He's under the water. Coming right for us. Okay. I think it's had enough. Now, Bruh, that's the second clip I don't put into that thing. Uh, you're gonna be okay, kid. <laughs> Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know. I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one. You weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Jules been bitten. Uh, oh my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Daylight. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks Yo, Frank. a certain charm. What's up, bro? I'll see you soon. 
be safe. We got monsters out here. You know, I'm talking to somebody else in the street. You're gonna send me to the camp, right, huh? Long time, boy. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. <laughs> no. Nah, the thing got away. Nah, I think since I know it's since I know it's out there now, now I think I can hunt it. <clears throat> Probably gonna try to pay off a bounty on my head. Keep these cops off my back. Mm -hmm. That's what I got now. I'm ready to get this over with. A hundred dollars, they're gonna start coming for that. Yeah, even nowadays, you, you get, you'll get slapped over a hundred dollars. bit of money to be playing. Yeah, it ain't no little bit of money to be playing with, bro. Get on that money. Yeah, I'm about, about to turn me into a bounty hunter. Yeah, I found, I'm a bounty hunter now. I'm about to slap the shit out you for this bounty. Vamos, would you move, please? Hey, move it! ¿Qué pasa contigo? Shall we just leave it there? You can rest now, boy.
Welcome, friend. Glad to see you on the up and up. <laughs> That's crazy. Thanks for your assistance. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Really? Wow. The local Come on. bathhouse is just around the corner. Don't worry, no harm done. Hey, boy. Brad just smacked right into a pole. I got mud all on my damn jacket. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. <laughs> I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. <coughs> we missed the party. I think... That it's Greek. Or could be Roman. You know, it's Italian most likely. It might just be from someone over in Blackwater. <laughs> That's far too modern for my taste. The man simply can't paint. Just a terror. It's making me blush. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state. As she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, <laughs> repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, 
alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here. Oh, my Finish. God. You filthy little man. Oh. Oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> yeah. My shit. Yeah, my eyes are swollen now. This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. This way, this way. Come on. I think we are okay, huh? The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring, huh? That, it was not. Archer test people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. <laughs> I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now, maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. Oh, that picture I gave you, Those it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. Morning. <laughs> yeah, dirty dog. Good morning, I'm good, thanks. Morning. Morning to you. Ah, can you get out of the way? Morning, sir. Hey. Mm -hmm. St. Dennis. Good day, dear. Good morning, sir. I got this hat from the Mexican, though. Good morning to you. They had to beat some dude up. Yeah, this is a special hat, yo. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it does, but it says it's special. Don't stop playing. I came over here to listen to you play. Hello. The guy with the harmonica. I think I might have me a little drink. Alright guys, I might take a quick little drink, drink break, drink and smoke break. Let me get somewhere pretty cool where there's a lot of action on one of the street corners in St. Dennis.
that's what I think I might do is just like roll one and have it beside me instead of keep grabbing the bong. Alright, uh <laughs> And and no coffin. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of uh, viewers here. Hey guys, I'm I, I'm definitely coming back, right back, man. Let me just go get my little setup. Give me like five minutes. We're gonna sit right here. I'll be right back. Gordon's still sore over me beating his ass at poker. He swears I was cheating. I just gonna look. Happens all the time. Hello. God damn it.
that took a little bit longer than expected. I had one had one roll and then wound up poking a hole in the paper. On some old rookies whatnot. Oh man. I'm starting to run out of side quests to do. Nice to see you again, sir. Did you change your mind about donating by any chance? We could really use your support to improve the lives of our veterans and their families. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. I can loot this box. I should take all the money. That's for charity, though. Oh my god, everybody complains even if you just ride your horse like five feet away from me. Dude, I ain't even hit you, bro, at all. People on here so friendly. 
Hey now, hey y'all, how's it going? Hey mister, how's it going sir? One moment please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There, oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? <laughs> How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Yeah, I, was, I don't know, man. I'm trying to record something, just play it. Just have like a song or something to play while the, while the stream getting set up. I got to do more pre recorded stuff too. There, I start pre recorded material and editing, editing stuff and adding graphics and stuff. That's what I'm really trying to just practice that all on my Patreon channel. Because those, all those videos, oh wow, where's my phone at? I need to have a video right now. I need to upload to. Patreon that I did this morning before I started streaming. Not just working with the iPhone movie app, adding music to stuff and like simple graphics and stuff like that. No <laughs> work in the bear. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose <laughs> I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? <laughs> I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. 
Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, animals. Indeed. Let's see. Right now, I have a couple I of think commissions. They I need just at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Partner. Time to go, boy. Yeah, you be putting your horse on autopilot. Why you? Are you right? Yeah. Mhm. Mm Yeah, I think I might I might take a day and do that just walk around real slow and try to study all the animals in the wildlife try to find some more flowers and shit to pick that wild oregano and the tobacco and they are kind of stuff out there to pick Ball, ball that stuff down into some snake oil. They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say mm. that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a mm. very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. Huh? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. What? what are you Why for? don't we take this boat out? And I'll protect you. Come on. Get in the boat. He'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank, you're going to wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. Yeah. I'm fucked with this other dude. I don't mess with him. Like, this the third mission I didn't do with him? Survived. They're the nasty ones. Oh, um, a photographer. Right then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest there. That was the third. That's probably where we should look. We did the Let's wolves. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Now we're now he down in the swamp trying to get pictures of alligators. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. 
Well, the gator's got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. And maybe chew on it a while. <laughs> Quite. It's hardly fair. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah! Could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. When we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Oh my god, yo, this boat is so hard to control. Alright, I got it now. I, I, I need to face the island? Redirect me first. Maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh. That's the spirit. Out you go then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you and then turn tail and run. If I'm eating. Hope he eats you too. You're slow. No, 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 no. I think you misunderstood our purpose here. Put that away. Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. All right, okay. Now we go east of here or back to the southeast. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us, especially with the big ones. spot for one take us around the island until we see something okay you don't see him right there the channel. you see its head poking up there line us up to it closer now closer Excellent. beast in repose all is calm as the predator lurks we have to head northeast that's the last one Mm. Dude, this is crazy. The dude really got me out here. Photographing. What is that? Those ain't hippos, are they? That little beach. Boars. No. Alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Yeah, them some pigs. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. 
Yeah, from a distance, them big ass boy. I'm like, what the hell? Is that? The swamp too? Like, is that a damn hippo? No, oh, that's some damn big ass wild hogs. Oh, he about to eat it. Oh, they got the. Oh my God! You know, rowing these boats is crazy. It's just like rowing a boat. There's no fast way to really do it. <laughs> Real boat? Yeah, it's, it's, it's slow. Yes. They're gonna be any good. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well... I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. You know what? That picture of the wolf he gave me, I couldn't even find that in my statue to look at it. And they get every way out here. Snakes in the water. Damn, I see like three gators just sitting right there. Let me get my ass from over here. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, Mr. Mason. Yo, uh, I ought to like that guy though. He like he likes fucking with him, yo. Yeah, that that bear that you gotta roll that shit up like a duffel bag. It's going to be coming from the north. Now, come on. Whoa, easy. Hmm. Kill the man. Oh, 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 maybe I should have stood right in front of the wagon. Oh, shot his head off. Last man standing. Oh, don't kill me, you fool. Oh, God. Guy almost murdered me. Yo, I got I got ran over by a wagon and my hat didn't come off. I swear to God, bro. Any other time a dude can punch you and your your hat will fall off, but yeah, this wagon like drug me. Nothing. My hat just stayed right there the whole time. It's like, Oh, through the motherfucker. <laughs> Blue bear. Yeah, shot, all right. Let's get you home. Yeah, too, be too much. When you be smoking by yourself, you need all that. Better put them young. Yeah, that them young boy. <laughs> you know, abusing this stuff, abusing it. right now but I was planning on get back in the studio. They might be different plans. Now where are you going to get that bag? <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, man, I'll be picking out the good ones. You see, I keep playing with the idea, man, of doing, like I said, a little theme song. Like, really just taking a day or two and write, really write something. Getting, you know, a little hot, at least just one verse, a little hot 16, just to jump the morning off with. Maybe do, you know, do one every, every six months or so I don't get old or nothing like that. But I, I got, I don't know, I want to upgrade my laptop. I be having so much damn problem with that laptop. And it's only a few years old, but if I get a newer laptop and just like, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather do it in-house instead of have to pay somebody else or have somebody else help me do all that stuff. Shit, I can get free beats right there and I can, I can do all the... Oh, the shit, my damn self, I just need the equipment. man wonderful <laughs> you got my money <laughs> it's, it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have <laughs> oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've I read about pause me so i can hear this damn dialogue for this i want to say man that's the that's something else it's just like i say just the little things about this game if you want to and you in yo art right, what's up man? like if you if you want to and you constantly just like do missions and constantly try to seek out cycle. The dialogue does not stop. And they're always talking. And it's always a new conversation. They're always talking about something different. And the dialogue in this game does not stop, bro. It's like even even in but like riding in between missions, they be talking about stuff. <laughs> Much. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Yeah, I gotta talk about some stuff. Right? You got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great job. Hey, y'all two gotta so send me your addresses, man, so I can get some prints <laughs> made. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners oh, wow. to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps 200? you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Oh, wow. Well, that's kind of easy. It's easy because it's already in the digital format, so. You can just, you can easily send that to me. But I mean, is it in your phone? Is it a picture of a picture or it is, it is the picture? Oh, that might be hard. Up there. Oh, yeah. Is there like a, uh, is there a glare on it, like a little, a shiny white spot, or did she get it, like, it was it a good picture of a picture? Because it's, it's hard, it's hard to take a picture of a picture and make it look like it's the picture, you know? And like, most of the time when people send me those, I can, I can see that in me, like, yo, yeah, that's a picture of a picture. I'll be off of, off of here soon. All right. Hello. Did you order? Are you going to order or what? Oh, uh, what time is it? I'm going to be hungry soon. Uh, it's still kind of early. Yeah. So I'm going to play the game for a little bit longer. I'm going to grab something to eat. That's what I was thinking, man. I gotta get hungry. Trying to get me and my girl trying to decide if she if she's gonna cook the order out. Oh, 
don't know, we were balling for like, I don't know, a month, like way too long, like eating out like three times a week and shit, man. Ooh, yeah, you get hooked on it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially when you find something good, too. Oh, man. And see, that's the thing, too, the, the portion. Mmm, yeah, bro. You get them big portions, too. You can eat off it twice. <laughs> Damn, well, you sound like me. I found I found this one little, little spot right here called uh, another, one of my other homies told me about it. But it's a black-owned restaurant, and they and they serve fish, yo. And that's I go. I get my little fish dinner for them. He got he got um he got red beans and rice and it's cornbread. Cornbread, damn, that tastes like a piece of cake, bro. <laughs> that shit be so damn good and sweet. I swear. Huh? Will I go get it? Oh my God! I see they don't deliver. I thought you, I thought you were trying to get something delivered. I'm, I ain't going out in that snow, maybe. Yeah, that's I, I get the same. Oh, uh, bro, we got uh, about ten inches yesterday. Man, we got it. It was bad. It was, it was real bad, bro. My shovel, shovel, shovel this morning, got up to go to the gym, got all the way to the gym. Gym ain't even open. I'm like, y'all, uh, mm. y'all couldn't get up and come? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? My cardio, but I was out there, I was out there sweating. It, 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 uh, about 24, 25 degrees, I'm sweating, boy. Shoveling all that down snow. I, I shovel, I shoveled a, a walkway to my girl's car. She ain't even go to work this morning. Hey, partner. You know, stuff like that. God has his sense of humor. What can I do for you? You know what? Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair. And Hold he, up. Uh, Hold up. He wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Yo, they about to try out an electric well, chair. That's just fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate, for humane dispatchment? I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. I ain't out here looking to get friendly. Now get away from me. Mm. So this is like um some Thomas Edison stuff. Hey there, mister. Thomas Edison was the one who did the electric chair, right? Damn, my horse is too far away. <laughs> I don't lost a couple of pellets, yo. Doing um, doing that auto, that auto uh ride, and bro, I don't even know. I just I walk to the bathroom or something and come back. I'm at the campfire. I done dead. I'm, I done lost all my damn pellets. Oh, shit. What happened? Miss everything. I don't even know what happened. Somebody was in the stream one time. They said, you got eight by wolves. I said, dang. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom and back, huh? The wolves done got me. You've lost your legendary pelt, man. I haven't seen that message twice. You got to take it to the trapper. That's the only way you can, um, well, I don't, I don't know if, if, because it said, even though I lost it, it says you can still go to the trapper and he'll have the supplies, I guess, since you did track it and catch it. But you take it, you go to the trapper and you, you sell it to him 
and then he has supplies to make one of a kind outfits for you out of all these legendary animals. There's like this polar bear, like the uh, yeah, the bear suit. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the trapper is the only person who can do it in St. Dennis. And that's what's so crazy. So, like, every time you, you catch one, you got to go all the way back over to the corner of the map to give it to the trapper. Uh, yeah, that's, that's like the oxymoron. You are the trapper, but then you got to take it to another guy who's a trapper. The other guy is, is technically the seamstress, except he wants to sound macho, but he just, he just, uh, he just sews stuff together. You know, his mom taught him how to do that. I'm the trapper. You come to me, you, you, you'll never find my wares in a shop. They're all one of a kind. Uh, you're a seamstress, bro. Walk around with all these guns on me too. But I got, I got two rifles on my back. I got, I got a pistol on my hip. Pistol on my front. Got a big ass knife. Who was sir? Who was? I got I got lasso. What? What's up? <laughs> ah, hello, friend. Hello, Professor. Professor Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So. Oh, Andrew Jesus, Graham Bell. Test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And Andrew what Bell. Uh, finding a suitable uh, subject. Ah. He well, did the electric chair. I thought He's that was. Here, I don't know. I thought Sturdy that was Edison. He's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and... $95? Ooh. Husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. This dude is crazy. Now he wants me to hunt down this... Uh, High level bounty to execute this guy. Alright, so where? This is the profession's bounty. This is a different bounty, I think. Yeah. Wow, that's a long ride, though. Jeez. So what if I just... What if I have a ride to a bench? Dead horse. Oh, all right. Oh, come on. What the hell? Out of the damn way. Yeah. Man. Yeah, these civilians be extra, extra, uh, sensitive. I'll be tending to you shortly. Ready for a clean slate? Hello. I'm good. They ain't catching. I got no gun. Five 
get this. I right, took a ride to the ranch and then I ride from the ranch to the bounty. And then I had to ride the bounty all the way back though. It's gonna be like a half a day ride. From the, from the foothills of the Shenandoah. That don't matter. Who's ever willing to come out in this weather? Oh, it don't matter. Whatever you want.
I was gonna start popping the ass from the oh shoot, that's kinda steep. I was gonna start popping it from up there, but I gotta bring the dude back alive. Deep rocks right there. Oh man. Nah, not where I'm at, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit, uh, my hometown in Florence had two in the same town. No, actually, I think we had three Jacksons in town. Mm-hmm. Oh, the game is hot, bro. This is this is a good game. Everything everything people say it is, that's what it is. Yeah. I'm telling you, ain't yeah, ain't no gimmicks or nothing. This is a yeah, this is a solid, solid game, bro. Yeah, yeah, he yeah he playing it with me right now. And wait to the uh wait to the damn uh yo why did I lose the mission? I can't kill the guy. Did I kill the guy? Yeah, you get the bronze and gold and all that stuff. He's a quick glitch, fool. Can loot this dude. Let me get that, bro. Now, dead insult to injury. Ooh, 
Is that an insult to injury? Come on, horse. Come on, come on. I'm ready. Yo, my horse named Samson, so. Mighty horse. Mighty Sam Yo, Samson, calm down, bro. Yeah. Here. Wait. Yep. Come on. Yep. Up you get. <laughs> Boy. Take me to damn court, then. Oh, you ain't going to court, bro. We got a special, special place. We ain't free no more. <laughs> Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying, and killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know. You ain't going to court. Mm. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell the Third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. Humanely. No. Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and Run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? No, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No, there must have been a dozen head of cattle. I, I don't know. I didn't change any settings. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no sir. It was light. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> yeah, it's a long ride back.
Man, you almost killed my horse, boy. You all right, horse? Damn, boy. Got something to eat. You fine. All right, I'll be right back. Bathroom break and my latest video should be uploaded. Let's see. Ooh. Yep, let me post this video real quick so Patreon. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, yo, for a dollar a month, y'all can check out these, uh, these art drawings. I'm not sure this part, I'm just saying. Hmm? Oh, these, uh, I was talking to the other viewers in here too, yeah. Just these, uh, the drawing, the drawings I've been doing. But I only, I'm only posting these videos on my Patreon. It's a, uh, it's like a, it's like a membership link. Where, um, it's just, it's like, it's like YouTube, but it's paid subscription. But like, it's, uh, it's a monthly subscription, but you, you can only, you can, uh, you only have to donate, like, the minimum is a dollar. But if you donate a dollar, you'll have access to whatever I put on the channel. Hey, guys. We are back with another drawing session. Uh, Let's see where we can stop off. Yeah, you can use it. This is this is dark time. You have to wake up. Yeah. So I'm doing that with us. And this video is actually pretty good. I got a lot of um, shading down in this video.
Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, a lot of people use it, and I didn't know it until like a, a couple other people told me to do it. They was like, "Yo, man, you should get a Patreon," and I'm like, "What is that?" And the one guy, uh, Dean Callahan, like you said, a lot of people, a lot of people use it. And all it is is just who, like, if you really want to support somebody, just like give them a dollar a month. So, like, yeah. But the thing is, like, I'm sorry about is that, is the man. content right. like? You gotta keep up updating it and putting new stuff up there for your uh -huh. for your supporters. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> mm, no, you can just no, you don't I don't think so. And then it's not it's not like something permanent. I think you can end that shit whenever. But so far I got like three people and all I do is like buy art supplies with all this little donation money. That's like I said I got that sketchbook and some some other little stuff. Man, I, I really can't wait for that, people. <sighs> for the online GGT to come out and see how the shooting is on here versus, like, a person. No. Oh, well. Um. will be real pleased to meet you. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Here, Take him to me. I got him. You're wonderful. Just just wonderful. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Don't be shy now. Let's go. Come on, man. Uh, bring him over here. Hmm. Getting deeper and deeper and good. Uh, put him down just there. I'm about to let you get this dude. Now where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Uh, well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um... Our poor unfortunate, ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Oh, wow. Um, this is about to get crazy. Nah, this ain't even a part of the mission, man. Yeah.
Hmm? Yo, alright, so the professor, he told, first he, he was looking for somebody to steal, uh, 300 gallons of moonshine or something, or some, some crazy amount of moonshine. I went, I said, moonshine, so I went to the down one, uh, dude at the post office, and he gave me the lit for the moonshine, so I went and got that, brought it back. He was like, yo, I'm about to try this electric chair, yo. I need I need to kill somebody. And I was like, what? And so he's like, look, man, I got a bounty for this bad guy. He's a murderer. His bounty is $95, yo. Go get him, and we'll kill him. And so I brought him back, and that was the end of it. He was like, oh, thank you. And there's no icon or nothing for me to follow this dude. He was just like, oh, you, you probably wouldn't want to miss this. So that's the professor. That's the bounty dude I just got right there. But this the gallows, this ain't no electric chair. Yeah, it's not even letting me talk to him. Hey you! Slow up now. Jeez. Why'd you bring him to the gallows? Yeah. Like this, the mission's over already. I thought he was about to like shoot him now. Hello, Mister. It must be something you're gonna have to come back to. Mister. Running out of missions. I'm about to do this one side mission right here. That's a bounty, and then I'll do this main mission. Oh man, I've been here for two and a half hours already. Yo, it is, dude. It is. So, I mean, I'm feeling guilty about this. Two and a half hours, I could have been in a studio. It sounds good, though. Thought I had some cigarettes. We're in the bayou. Mr. 
Let's get. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy. Please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. for your bounty. <gasps> Come to mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Mm -hmm. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Mm -hmm. Exactly as I say. You hear? Yeah, in Inferno. That's I that. That's the thoughts on my family. Okay. Inferno. You gonna take me or what? Yeah, that's the hottest. You got the vo you got the volcano, the inferno, and then the it's insane. Yeah. Take me away or let me loose. Look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I love you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. I kind of won't go away. I try to let him stay. This son over there crying like a little kid. Let's do one of the uh, NPCs in the game. In a minute, anyways. As soon as that food get here, I might do the same thing. Oh, that. You must be in hell, that shit, boy. You just said the food just got there. And then talking about you. <laughs> talking about, yo, that shit was hot. Good <laughs> 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 Damn. Yeah, they they stuck. I ain't I ain't too big on fast food, but I I eat jazzy though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they kind of like uh kind of like Chinese food, it's like fast food, but not really. Yeah, China, yeah, China, exactly. That's the only thing is it's questionable what you're eating. But man, I, uh, mice, mice got protein in it. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. Love made my peace. Okay.
Yeah, it might have got protein in it. That son of a bitch. It's a bit late for running, Johnson. Yeah. I don't want to hang. Hello, Ezer. Yeah, yeah. Might have got protein. Yo, cause I already got him one time, right? Then he, he just hopped off my horse and tried to get away. I don't know how he gnawed through my ropes. I gotta tie this dude ex exactly time tighter. <laughs> It seemed like like he was he wasn't he wasn't confrontational. Yo. He was like, "Yo, man, look, I did something bad. You can let me go, or whatever." So the first time around, I actually tried to let him go, but it made me fail the mission. So he got it. Like the boy said, let him go back to his family, or you're gonna have trouble with us. all your friends ain't it you shouldn't have done that and now look what's happened dead because of you damn it i knew you was being quiet i'm just saying they do a service to the community man they keep all the strays away no and there don't be no strays no rodents in the community man you know what I'm saying? Right, service. Community service. Yeah, that was, man, I was, uh, 10 years old, maybe? I was like 10. Yeah, man. Cor hey, corrupted this shit out of me, bro. Cor I mean, that cor corrupted me. Man. Yeah, that was something. It wasn't meant for a kid to see that stuff, yo. Yeah. I started I started burning stuff after that and killing. I killed a lot of stuff after that, bro. I like I drowned some, some kittens one time. I killed like I found a little bird in a nest. I like killed the bird. I set a possum on fire. Like I don't. It was that faces. It, Bro, I think the faces of death like corrupted my mind a little bit, bro, for a long time. Yeah, I I, I won on bro, real bad. My grandma caught me one time too, yo. I I don't know, I was fucked up. Oh yeah, dude. That was Snoop Dogg, ain't it? Or... This is Rhodes. Yeah, I remember You're that one. Shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Good. Yeah, they were on some real gangs and stuff in that game. Same way you do same way we do chickens. Yeah. Found this fella on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. 
I seen a, a snuff film a couple of days ago on Facebook. There was a link to um, some dude stabbing up these two girls. Yeah, on some Facebook death site. Go to hell. Oh, 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 oh. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it. Someone else would have. You ain't whiter than white. Mm. Your past catches up with you. So, yep, that's the word in town. Hello. Say that again. No, I was reading heavy metal back in the day. Oh, you know what? I think I did see a couple of issues of that. No, no, uh, all right, say he is. Um, I gotta uh, call him about some stuff here. Yeah. I'll call him later. Yeah, but yeah, I kind of remember those days too. Like even now, where I live at, my neighborhood is pretty good. Like I don't really lock the doors on my car. No. Yeah. Yeah, I might watch Transcendence while I eat dinner, yeah. Yeah, Keanu Reeves ever since, um, for me, Bill and Ted, yeah. Bill and Ted. Yeah, take it back then, yo. Yeah, Bill and Ted. Then he did Johnny Mnemonic. Uh, Matrix. Uh, what was the, what was the, uh, the football movie he did? Um, and I don't even like sports movies. He had a replacement. <laughs> Let's say I don't even like I don't even like sports movies, but that was good though. Uh, what was the uh the bomb on the bomb on the bus? Speed. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Keanu Reeves was my man, yo. I like him. I don't know, the only one was like that that middle matrix was weird with the the fighting on the ceiling and the blind twins and the Merovingian and it was like, ah, uh, what are you guys doing? It was, uh, I don't know, it's like watching two Mission Impossible movies at one time. And then that's something else. They just put out another Mission Impossible. They've been putting out a movie for 15 years. There's some others. Every everybody in the hip hop community is saying R.I.P. to some lady. Um, 
I don't know who she is, though. That was Puff Daddy's ex-wife? Oh. Okay, so, oh, she was, she was going on uh, one of the Hollywood hoes. what they said about the West. And look how that turned out. It's men. Yeah, my horse is probably like dead Mr. in the war. What the hell? Like Mr. Cornwall. It ruined the West. It ruined everything. What in the hell? So, there's no folk like that in Tahiti? There's folks like that everywhere. But in Tahiti, to my understanding, folks feed them to sharks rather than make them kings. <laughs> That would be paradise. Exactly. Really? Hmm. Then, what was those pumpkin head movies? Wasn't that Halloween too or something? Pumpkin head? Uh, uh. I thought it. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Oh, it's just down in the damn. Oh, my God. Right you are. Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside. I... <coughs> you know, we got, we got a lot of snow out there, man. I already leave love aside, knew it was going to take a while. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. You're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay. Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. You see those two? Stay out of sight. You got a shot on him? Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you don't like naked women. Arthur!
the house. Shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Look out! Said he's dying. Somewhere, Arthur, have a look upstairs. Yeah, I'm almost at three hours. I'm about to end the stream, guys. I'll, I'll be back here and um, with y'all later.